Welcome, in front of me is a Huawei P40 and today I will show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So when you first get started and you put up the device for the first time, you will see the language select. So choose the language that you want to use. For me it's going to be English and once you select language, tap on get started. Select region, this will basically set your um, time zone. So. Uh, you can set it to whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna keep it as it is. Not really bothering to find my region. And yep, I have carefully read and agreed to the above terms. Now you can read them to be aware of what you're agreeing to. And then tap on next. Then you have the insert SIM card. So you can insert your SIM card right now or later. This will change literally nothing. Uh, no matter when you insert the SIM card. So I'm gonna skip this for now. Connect to network. Uh, so once you connect to network, you will be able to also add your Google account. Um, and also the device will start looking for updates and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna skip this for now, but you can connect to it. And also if you, for instance, don't have a network right now, you can basically log in later as you would normally do. Then data and privacy. So let's stop on next, so like we have a choice here. Uh, Huawei, Huawei mobile services, so you can again read all of them. As you can see, majority of them are enabled. Um, so let's stop on next. You can also mess around and disable some of them if you wish to. And from here, you can add a um, passcode or fingerprint, face recognition, or all of them. Um, now keep in mind if you're trying to add for instance a fingerprint you will also need to add another way of unlocking that would be uh, either a pen pattern or password so one of those um, so I'm gonna actually set up a fingerprint ID let's do it like that and by default it sets to pen but you can choose change unlock method and then you have either four digit pen custom pen uh, pattern or password so I'm gonna go with pattern Let's draw the pattern. Let's redraw the same pattern once more. Tap on done. And I can start adding my finger. So get started. Okay. And let's start tapping it on, on it. Now when you're doing this, you want to get a fairly good read of your entire finger from basically all angles. But I'm just trying to get it added as quick as possible. Um, the more time you spend trying to add like basically detailed scan of your finger, the higher chance of unlocking the device you will have. So then let's tap on OK. And here it prompts you that you can also set up a face recognition. So when you tap the power button, it will look at your face and automatically unlock the device. Now, I don't really feel like doing this right now, so let's skip this. Um, enhance services, so you can enable all services, set up enhance services, or you can skip it. Um, use experimental improvement programs. Um, again, you can read all of this and see if it will uh, suit you or not. I'm gonna set it to later. Share analysis, uh, definitely later. Um, Huawei location services, uh, again, they will basically just check where you are. So later, uh, keep your software up to date. Now we can enable and continue, that will uh, start looking for updates right now and start downloading them stuff like that if you have some or you can do it later on through these settings if you wish to by choosing update manually and then data import so if you want to import your data from an older device you can choose from here so for instance we store from huawei cloud backup or move data from another device now when you're doing the move data from another device uh, on the other device the old one you will need to download an app to do this um, while from a cloud, well, it will just use the cloud, so you don't. You basically would create a backup uh, on your old device, upload it to cloud, and then um, access it through this device. But I'm gonna set it up as new, and then you have the gesture navigation. Now it looks like here it comes uh, default gesture navigation. Um, so. For those people that I guess never used it, it gives you a little try gesture options and you can't really progress if you don't try it. Now using the gesture is fairly explanatory, I'm gonna talk about it um, quickly. So swipe from side to go back and it works on either side. Uh, as you can see it prompts you to do both of them. Um, then swipe up and this is swipe button screen. Uh, so 
me just lift it up. So this is basically the like button. All you do is swipe and then swipe and hold goes to recent. There we go. And that's about it. Now once you do it, you can tap on finish and there you go. And we're now completely set up. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.